What is going on everyone? It is a new day. As you can see, we're in the truck right now. Uh, Cody's in front of us and Bud, we are on our way to M1 Concourse. Uh, I don't even know if this is gonna turn out, but we're on the road, we're gonna try to get some B-roll, maybe some rollers of the car. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have Connor, Connor's in the back, he's uh, another car photographer. I'm gonna have him try to shoot some rollers of Bud and the Envy on the car. We'll get some video, maybe get some B-roll clips on the way down there, but uh, yeah, today should be a good day. We're gonna do some testing and uh, got a couple hours left, so uh, let's have some fun. So we are finally here at M1. We are in John's garage. As you can see, everything behind me. You can see John over there. He's all suited up. How did everything go as far as getting everything buttoned up? Um, track went hot just now and we're ready to go. Which Sweet. Is a record. John, it's been a little bit since we last saw you here. We got to unbox that beauty over there. Yes. So now you get to see the Envy it in full, all done up. How do you, what do you think about it? How, like, think, what are your thoughts? I think it's amazing. It's uh, very exciting. Very excited to drive it and uh, get some more uh, tuning on it and see how it does. And uh, you know, it's kind of shake down today, but we're but we I think we can do some. Pretty hot laps of the two, though. I, I think so too. Yeah. And it's this is super cool because we've all, you know, I haven't seen you drive yet, and I know you're a fantastic driver, and it's super yeah. cool that these guys get to see it too. So this is this is a treat on both ends. You get to drive it, and we get to see you rip it around. A lot of hype out there. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if I live up, live up to the hype, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure you will. But yes, everything is all good to go. Hopefully, we can get a little bit better view. We've got the other GoPro set up there. We're gonna have one on the front wing. Other than that, I think. It's going to be ready to go. So we are going to head to the track soon, but we'll obviously get some B-roll, some startup, and we'll go from there. So we've got the lineup of everyone that's going to be going out on the track today. I'm not going to lie, kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. But it's super cool to see what a lot of people are going to be driving out today. But uh, yes, super excited to see what's going to be done here. See how it goes from here. Hopefully, we get some good GoPro footage, and uh, we'll see if we can sneak up on one of these uh, trailers, or go back to John's condo and see if we can get some footage. Yeah, you, you kind of blew the door off there, sir. I know, I'm going too fast already. <laughs> he blew the doors off himself. Right? <laughs> it, it's, pretty, it's pretty intense, it's pretty fast. Yeah? Yeah. Well, hopefully we can get it a little bit more dialed in for you and then you can really have some fun. Yeah, it feels pretty stable though, cornering wise. Uh, I mean, the back end will come around when that power hits, but other than that, it's pretty good. All right, we'll take it. Well, hopefully we can get you back out there and get some more footage. All right, awesome. Thank you, sir. All right, Cody's taking a look. So I guess we got to get some steel heim joints. Aluminum aren't enough. Yeah. So, Which yeah. is weird because you didn't do anything at Honda Meet. I don't know. I also wasn't doing 150. He says he was. Did you really get up that high? I, I bet. Were you in six Felt gear? Felt pretty fast. Holy six, moly. Six gear? Yeah, I hit six. Yeah, I hit yeah six. It, you haven't done that yet. Not, yeah, I haven't done six of wide open throttle. Jeez. Just, just, okay, so we did get the door back. Cody's grabbing it. Got a nice grass landing. Where did it? I mean, yeah, it doesn't even look like it like got really banged up or anything. No, uh, these these hold position, so it's not like these came off and the latches are all in intact on the car. So literally, these failed. So I, I think John had it. John had the car the fastest it's been down at sea level. Yeah. And I think just the leading edge right here caught it and just jink ripped that's, it off. That's wild. Because the heim joints were in bending and little tiny aluminum heim joints. Yeah. Hind, hindsight on the hinds. 
So, all right, so you guys are just putting more heat shielding on. Yeah, so one of the new wastegate lines is a little bit too close to the wastegate, and it, I don't think it went through. Um, so we're just adding more heat shielding on that, and then uh, we're going to send them out and get some data because you've got to push the data log button. Gotcha. And then we'll do some tuning. Cool. All righty. So we got it loaded up, explain what happened, John, and then we want to hear your thoughts on everything after you've gotten your breakdown here. We broke more shit. Yeah. Which, I was, it's like, we got to run some E85 through it. We before, did. Before, you know, it's, it still runs. Um, let's see. The reason we stopped running was the exhaust manifold gasket blew out again. So I don't know if the, the bolts backed off or what, but didn't want to cause a fire. So, and it started to break up toward the end of that run. And I tried to pull the log out of it, and it was corrupt. So I gotta try try some different methods when I get home. Just need to get home. Um, get all right. We got a pretty bad vibration somewhere. I don't know if it's flat spot on the tires or if they're a uh, little little thick in some spots. But yeah. uh, that's an easy easy thing to to try. I have to. Uh, I've got set of Michelin still mounted, so I'll just swap those on and see if it fixes it. So otherwise, uh, John drove the door off it. Yeah, li literally, John drew the, or yep. drew the door blew, off. Blew of the it. doors off it. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, no, ran ran really good. Uh, really stable. I thought it handled really good. I think it could go really fast. We get a few things sorted. We had a little miss in the throttle. It, it kind of idle. You know, for trying to you know modulate, modulate the throttle around the corner. It's kind of a little popping there or missing. Yeah. So we get that figured out and the brakes figured out. I think this car can go really fast. Felt really stable. Felt really good. And I think we set a new track record. Don't want to say for sure. We got to do the go through the data, but 154 was old track record down the straightaway. I think we went about 157. So Sweet. That's um, 750 horse at the wheel roughly. So, yeah, so we're pretty sure you topped out six gear, which is you know, somewhere around 7,000 RPM, which yeah. according to the gear ratio charts, it's yeah, 155, 156. So we don't have speed in the car, so we don't know. So that's also <laughs> what I'm going to do when it comes down next. I've got a full aim yeah. uh, data system I'll have in there. So we that actually have oh. GPS and all that. So. Uh, an awesome, real real stable, real easy to drive. Uh, 
it's going to be a lot of fun. So Sweet. Get, get the bugs out, and that's what we're here for. It's right yeah. fun. So thank you for letting us all come down. I was about to say, it's their, it's these guys' first time down here at yeah. M1. So. This guy's first real test, too, besides Pikes Peak. And yeah, because yeah, it was just you and I and Benoit at Hanami. So. So yes, thank you for the hospitality, and hopefully we can get you driving it again soon. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Yep, absolutely. You got anything else you want to say? Uh, get home, order another, get another exhaust manifold gasket, and then probably order some kind of locking bolts. I know they make some nice ones, especially for LS because there's a million of them. Um, then just spend some more time on the on the dyno, try to replicate what you know, I know where it was doing it now, which will help. Sweet. Um, it may have been doing it at Gingerman, and I just drove around it. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, we'll see. So. It's all relatively easy stuff to fix. Yeah, hopefully. No, nothing really no, broke. Good. Nothing yes. big broke. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. So. And we'll stay on too. We'll stay down. Awesome. Cool. Great success. All right, Great thank you. success. Yeah. So that is going to be it for the episode today, guys. So we are going to head back up to Traverse City. It's probably going to be about a three and a half hour drive. So again, thank you guys always for watching, subscribing, sharing. We had a lot of people coming up asking questions about this thing. So it was cool to see people's interests. And yeah, hopefully we can get some more testing done and go from there. So until then, we'll see you in the next episode. Take it easy.